We have with us today Gloria A. Ajoge Adaba, personal development coach, engineer, and an environmentalist. She is the founder of Thumbs Up Youth Leadership uh, Development Initiative. Gloria is a certified John Maxwell's coach, a Toastmaster speaker, and leadership trainer, and she joins us today to talk about living purposefully. Now, she came in with a very bright smile. That's why I'm wearing my shades, so I'm going to take them <laughs> off right now. And put them, oh my oh. goodness, there we go. Okay, I'll keep you there. All right, <laughs> good to have you here. Now, Thanks. let's talk about living purposefully. It's good to have you back here thank again for you, a Monday. Thank you, know. Um, well, let me just put some things in perspective, okay? Uh, this month, we're talking about building blocks for a better future. Mm. And I laid the foundation of uh, the, first, uh, the first week, knowing, accepting, and growing yourself. That's a foundation. That's something one, everyone should start with. And then secondly, we talked about finding purpose last week. Yes. Now we're talking about living purposefully. I like using illustrations so it st sticks in the minds of people. Living purposefully entails, it's like uh, climbing up a staircase. When you find your purpose, it's far off there. It's mm. somewhere like far off. Okay. So you, you assess yourself, where am I right now? Mm. And how do, what are the steps I need to take? to get to where I'm going. And it's something you need to do every day. So that's what living purposefully is about. Every day you wake up, there's something, there's a goal you want to achieve to get to your purpose. There's a goal you want to achieve to, to, to get to that height that you see. Does it ever end? It never ends. And that's the beauty of it because the human spirit likes to continue. It's just, it, just, it just continues. It never ends. You get there and then you begin to see something else. A higher purpose. It keeps going. It never mm. ends. Wow. Yeah. So for those people who have started living purposefully, yes. how, is, how possible is it for them to influence other people who perhaps want to start living purposefully? Oh, that's very, very interesting. I just want to add that, you know, as you continue, you know, living purposefully and it never ends, it keeps you growing. And the, when you get to where you've seen yourself and you stop, there's this dissatisfaction that mm -hmm. just goes and it pushes you and propels you to the next level. Now, people living purposefully can impact other people. Impact, uh, for example, I have an initiative. I talk with young people. I, uh, it's a, an initiative. I teach young people on finding themselves, telling them they are unique, helping them affirm themselves. And everybody needs it. So as you, as you live purposefully, it's kind of contagious. People would see the spark in you, even if you, don't, if you, if you are not like a coach like me or a speaker yeah. that wants to go out and help a lot of people. People would see it in you. And as you continue to do that, you can actually create kind of like a mentoring platform for especially the younger generation because they are the future. Okay. Yes. Now, I know this is not a question that has a definite answer, but I'm going to ask it anyway. That's fine. What would be the sample of a person living in our climb, Nigeria, no lights, mm. terrible traffic, the roads are bad. What would be a sample of a person who is living purposefully? Just so that we can have a sort of like a goal or a, an yes, idea of where idea. we are going. So it's, it's not vague, really, what we're talking about. I get what you're saying. Uh, coincidentally, I was talking about that with someone just before I got in here. Okay. And I, I think I mentioned it some time ago. I said, it's, it's very difficult. Mm. Let's just tell ourselves the, the truth. Best, it's yeah. extremely difficult. And um, I empathize with Nigerians that mm. it's very difficult to say, okay, I'm trying to make a living. What's about living my purpose? But if we keep focusing on the negative, mm. we'll keep draining ourselves. Mm. And that's what I try to tell people. If you keep complaining, it's there. We try as much as possible to, to, to remove the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. But you cannot do it when you are not in your own element. Mm. It's your element that propels you and strengthens you to mm. be able to move that elephant. If you, if you keep just complaining, it's negativity. You just keep being negative. Mm -hmm. You need to, to, to find where you fit in the whole picture mm. so that you'll be able to contribute to your own um, quota. Mm -hmm. But if, and, and then to, to, to really talk about um, the challenges we face in mm -hmm. this country, honestly, um, it would be unfair for us to think, oh, it's easy. It's really, really tough in this nation to do that. But it's not impossible. Mm. Even in your small space and sphere, there is something you can just stop. If you just stop and stop focusing on the negative, and try to see, find your own self. Why am I here? Mm. And try to contribute. There's just something about nature. It, it puts you where you would definitely find something mm. if you are actively looking for it. 
you mm -hmm. will find it and be content. I think contentment plays a huge part. When, um, when, we, when we focus on, on things that are outside, there are two gates to a soul, the soul of a man, the air and the eye, mm -hmm. okay? Things that we let into us can actually be distracting. And we live in, a, in an era where there's a lot going on. You hear songs that tell you, oh, money in the bank, yeah. money in the bank, money yeah. in the bank. It keeps pulling you away from your own element. And money is actually a value, it's an exchange of value. Mm -hmm. So how do I become valuable such that I can get that money? Mm. Not, not me chasing it, but rather it chasing me. When I find my value and I find my purpose, money will come. Mm. Mm. That's the way it should be. Okay. Um, to be more direct and on a final note, yes. um, would you say that you are living your life purposefully? Would you be that sample that I'm looking for? Are you? I am, as a matter of fact. That's so confident. My I am. Goodness. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I say it's easier to preach what you practice than to practice what you preach. If you are living it, it's easier for you to talk about it. It becomes like breathing. Wow. What can I say on that note? I mean, there you have it, your sample. <laughs> Please search her out. On the way. <laughs> Make sure that you follow her. She's everything you want to be to living life purposefully. Thank you very much for coming over again, Gloria. We love each time that you're here. We still have another session with you, and we're looking forward to it. Thank, Thank you very you. much.